For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing eight free ways that we can all look and feel more stylish this year and there's no shopping necessary. I'm gonna jump right into number one, which is to do something a little different to your hair or your makeup. I think sometimes we can get stuck with styling our hair or our makeup the same way for many years and it can start to feel kind of old or stale. So if you wanna kind of freshen up your look for this year, try to experiment with maybe a different hairstyle or some different makeup styles that you've never tried before. If you always wear your hair down, maybe experiment doing like different updos or ponytails. You can check out what all the cool kids are doing if you wanna see what is in style. And sometimes just freshening up our hair will just make our clothes feel different on us and feel like totally new because it looks like a whole new outfit in the mirror. And I think I should take my own advice here because I usually just wear my hair down like this but I would love to experiment with maybe like some little buns on the top of my head. My hair is pretty short so I can't do a whole lot with it but there's a couple of pins that I've pinned that I want to explore and um, let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> and the same thing can go for makeup so if you've been doing like a very natural look maybe experiment with different colored eyeshadows or some really cute styles that people have been doing and I've actually been curious to try that as well. Or maybe if you've been doing like a very bold look try paring it down doing something different kind of giving a fresh look to your face and these little details can really like amp up your style and make your wardrobe shine through a little bit more than maybe before. Number two is gonna be to freshen up and revive your wardrobe. So sometimes if we've been wearing our wardrobe for a while, it can start to get wrinkled or faded or like sweaters will start pilling and it'll start to look kind of worn down and tired. So sometimes all it really needs is just a little freshening up. So either take a little sweater comb to your sweaters, give them a nice shave so they can look new again. Maybe take your iron or your steaming wand and freshen up your clothes that are a little bit wrinkled and looking tired. And I think when your clothes just look more like fresh and new and clean it kind of makes us want to wear them more and want to kind of experiment and style them into new outfits and I have to be honest with you guys that I'm not very good at ironing <laughs> I don't do it a lot at all so I have been looking at a couple of different steamers that I could buy I'd love to hear your thoughts do you iron or steam your clothes and do you have anything that you could recommend to me <laughs> let me know down in the comments so my next tip is to go against the trends. So this goes completely against what I first talked about, but there's something like very fresh about just wearing what you want to wear and not wearing what everybody else is wearing. It's a really great way to just like stand out and have your own signature look. And I think it's even more stylish when you're not wearing all the trendy stuff that everybody is wearing, but you have like a quiet confidence in yourself and in your own style. I think that really makes you stand out. And this is pretty easy to do when something is really in style that you don't care for at all. You just say, I'm gonna pass on it. And I think this is where like your personal style really shines through. So if you're really confident in your own style, then you can just easily pass on all the trends and just stick to what you know works for you. But if you wanna lean into this tip even more, then I encourage you to kind of develop your own signature look I kind of talked about this in the video I recently did. I'll link it up in the cards. And here I'm kind of thinking of a couple of people that I've seen on Pinterest that are like older women that look super stylish and they have like their own vibe, their own look. And I think it looks super unique, even though they're not following the trends that are in style at the moment. Tip number four is try wearing monochrome. So a monochrome outfit can look super stylish right away because you're wearing the same color from head to toe and it kind of makes like a statement as soon as somebody sees you. Of course, we all know about black. I think a head to toe black outfit always looks like super stylish and just edgy and bold. But you can also experiment with lighter colors. I personally would prefer to wear like head to toe beige. I think that looks very soothing. Also, you can do blue, maybe a blue shirt with blue jeans. And the shades don't have to match perfectly. I think it looks even better when you have like a lot of texture or different intensities and colors. It looks super intentional because you know that you've put together this outfit and you've planned it to be the same color. So I encourage you guys to explore your closet, see what kind of colors you have, and yeah, just try to style an outfit that's all one color and see how you feel. <laughs> Maybe it'll make you feel instantly more stylish and you will go out there and wear it and feel really great. My next tip is to try the opposite of what you've been doing style-wise. This is very similar to tip number two, but if you've been wearing your outfits in the same way 
or styling your clothes in the same way. Just try doing something completely the opposite of what you're used to and see how you feel. So maybe you're used to wearing like very slim fit clothing. Try wearing something really oversized. <laughs> Another idea is maybe if you've been wearing like very put together sophisticated outfits, uh, try styling like a very casual outfit, but still with a stylish vibe. Or maybe you like wearing like a very minimal amount of accessories, you know, try layering a bunch of necklaces, earrings, rings, and see how that feels on you. The whole point here is to kind of jolt you <laughs> awake into trying something new that maybe you already have in your closet and you can just play around with it, explore, and see how it makes you feel. Tip number six is to match your shoes to your purse. This is kind of a classic tip that I think a lot of people know about already, but in case you don't, the idea is that whatever outfit you're wearing, if you match your purse to your shoes, it'll kind of instantly make it look put together and stylish and like there was intention and thought put into your outfit. It's a pretty simple and easy way to put together an outfit and you'll kind of know that it looks stylish right away because it's hard to go wrong here. Some colors to consider is of course black. Black shoe, black purse, can't go wrong with that. Also you can do a dark brown or a more lighter tan color. All of these will look really great depending on what kind of outfit you have, what kind of colors you have going on. So check what you have in your closet already, put together a nice looking outfit and you're gonna be good to go. My next tip is to practice styling the clothes you already have. So this is really the idea of just shopping your own closet, working with what you have, and trying to style your clothes into new outfits that you've never thought of before. This is a really great way to discover clothes that you haven't worn in a long time, that have been kind of buried in the back of your closet. So I would encourage you just to take a couple hours, pull out some pieces that you haven't worn in a long time, and try to style them into some new outfits. Another great exercise is just to pull out 10 items, maybe a couple of bottoms, a couple of tops, some third layers and try to like remix them into 10 new outfits. I do this a lot on my channel here and I think it's a really great way to kind of get really comfortable and confident in styling your clothes because you'll really learn what kind of outfit proportions you like, what kind of styles feel and look good on you. And you'll just get better and better at styling the clothes you already have. And of course the best part is that this is free. <laughs> All the clothes you already have, you don't have to pay for anything. And if you discover a couple of outfits you never tried before, then it's kind of a win-win. It's a whole new outfit a whole new look and you didn't have to spend any money on it. My next tip is practice good posture. So if anybody knows me personally, this is something that I do struggle with because I tend to slouch a lot. I don't have the best posture, but what I do know is that when you hold yourself straight with confidence that your clothes just always look better on you. You can be wearing a really cute outfit, but if you're like hunched over and not super confident, kind of just waddling along, everything will kind of just feel off. But if you have good posture, you have like a relaxed air of confidence about you, I think it just makes your outfit shine more. It just like hangs more beautifully on your body. So this is something I'm gonna practice for myself and I'll keep you guys updated on how that's going. But there's also something interesting you can do called the power pose. If you're feeling a little bit nervous about going somewhere or speaking or doing anything public, the idea is that you just like stand super straight, super confident, almost like in a superhero pose. And you stand in that pose for like a full minute and it kind of just brings confidence to your body because you're standing in a confident way and it kind of mentally changes something and you feel really confident suddenly. There's some kind of science that backs this up. If I can find some articles about it, I'll link in the description box. And my bonus tip here is that kindness is the most stylish. So you can be wearing like the most beautiful outfit again, but if you're kind of rude, snobby, not very nice, everything will not look good on you. And I think that when we interact with people, we don't really take away as much what they're wearing as kind of the air that they have about them, if they're confident, if they're kind, if they're respectful. So if you act in that way, then the takeaway that people will have from you is that you know, you're like a gracious, stylish person. So if you want people to remember you as stylish, then just try your best to be kind, respectful, stand with confidence, and then what you're wearing is gonna be kind of secondary and people will just remember you. If you still want a few more tips from me, then I highly recommend you watch this video next where I share 10 things that everybody needs to have in their wardrobe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.